Hey YouTube, this is Imperial Tech. Just for a video and a quick guide on getting you through the first steps of um, your Apple TV after it's had some sort of jailbreak. Um, you know, jailbreak, everybody should know what that is. It unlocks your Apple TV to allow it to have options instead of the options given in front of you right now. So as you can see, you got your movies up here. All your movies are the, these are the most the ones that are coming out soon or just came out. So to get started, what you do is you go into XBMC. XBMC is basically your alternate operating system when it comes to a um, Apple TV. Right now, I have it set to the most simplest of the themes, just you know, for video purposes, easier maneuvering. You have you know movies, TV shows, but this is stuff that you can get directly from your computer. Um, with this particular, um, the, the add-ons I'm about to show you, you might not need any of these add-ons right here. You have your pictures, you have your movies, you have your um, weather, and of course you have your settings where you can change a theme and you can change all those other features. But right now we're going to go into the video add-ons, which is why you're here. And um, with the video add-ons, you know, you have, a th you have hundreds of them. You can put as many as you want for as many reasons as you want. Um, right now we're going to concentrate on ice films. Ice films will definitely allow you to watch movies and TV shows that are out and about right now and at times movies that are not out yet on DVD or Blu-ray. As you can see, you have your TV shows, movies, music, stand-up comedy, other, you got your homepage, and then you have your favorites. Favorites is where you put all the movies that you want to see, can't get a chance to see at that, at that point, so you just put them in there, almost like your queue for, um, for when you have your internet instant video streaming on demand. So what you do is you would put everything in your favorites, you go into your whatever it is, TV shows or movies, and then you decide what you want to watch today. This is the best way to keep in, to keep organized all the shows that you currently watch. Some people might not have cable, so they don't have a guide, so they don't know when things are on. This right here will give you an opportunity to go through all your all your shows and as you you know as the as the shows get into the seasons you can go and catch up and do everything anything you want to do. I'll show you in a minute how to get those into favorites. Right now we're going to go into movies just to show you how it goes. So you go into Ice Films, you go to movies. You have your options and how you want to select them. I always go to recently added. Recently added of course are movies that are just and that were just um, uploaded today. As you can see this was yesterday. This movie came out on Sunday. It was already added yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today's, today's Wednesday the 28th. Then you have some movies that you know, basic movies that you see on TV, you know, of course, no commercials, things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find something, you know, like Looper. Looper's not out on DVD yet. Won't be out on DVD for probably a couple more weeks. But it's been on here for 14 days now. So, as you know, 14 days is two weeks. So, what we do is you just click on the movie. It'll load. And while it's loading, what it'll do is it's find sources. When it finds the sources, you see all these sources here. 180 and MR are, the poppy, are probably the most reliable sources for me. I go to each one of those and I get an instant connection and I don't have to worry about too much buffering. So what I'll do is I select um, 180 upload. It'll start getting the video for me and getting it ready. Buffering time, usually about a minute, minute and a half to two minutes sometimes. No buffering at all as you can see. I'll let this play for a second so you can see the video quality of a movie that is not yet out on DVD. Now I'm going to fast forward it just a little bit so you can see some actual footage of the, of the movie itself. This is actually a pretty decent movie. It's um, very twisted, it's Inception like, but you'll know when you see it. As you can see, sound, you get Dolby Digital Surround Sound. You get, you know, you get everything you would get with a DVD or a Blu-ray. Or Blu if kids are watching, I apologize for allowing you to watch that man get shot in the face so that's uh that's that's a movie that's as simple as it gets right there you grab you you pick your movie you go to your you go to your sources you pick your source do you pick your source you go from there and it'll just upload you know do a couple minutes of buffering maybe less um, depending on the busyness of the servers and the on all the sources you know it sometimes is instant like that just now TV shows same scenario so you go to your TV shows, after you go to your TV shows, it'll bring you down the same list that you just saw. 
So this is where I'm going to show you how to go and save it into your favorites so you can always keep it organized. So I just went into popular. When you go into popular, let's say Dexter. Who doesn't love Dexter? Anybody that does what he does and we root for him is always the guy to watch. So what you do is you hit menu, which is the left circle button on your control. It'll probably say menu on it if it's not worn out because you've used this thing so many times. You add it to your favorites. The minute you add it to your favorites, what it does, you back out. And on your main screen, when you open Ice Films, you have a fa you have the favorites, which, which which I showed you. You go to TV and TV TV shows, and Dexter will pop right up, just like every other show. And this is, like I said, the best way to keep it organized. To make it even easier for you and allow you to be even lazier, the best thing to do is, as you can see, TV shows. You hit menu. You take TV shows and you add it to your favorites. What that would do is while you're on the main dashboard you hit menu and it'll bring up your favorites and there it is TV shows so all you do is you click on it once and it takes you straight to the um, the file that has all your shows on it without having to go through each individual um, scenario when you back out of it of course you have to go through it but <clears throat> that's the easiest way same way, same thing with um, with movies. You save them to your, to your favorites, keep them in your favorites. Select menu, put your movies into your um, into your favorites on your dashboard, and you have access to it anytime. As easy as that, without having to go through all the loading processes. Click Ice Fields, click this, and click that. Another add-on that's really good and is definitely one of the most popular, and you're definitely going to be using it, would be One Channel. One Channel allows you to watch movies that are you know very recent. Um, right now, <clears throat> when you go to movies, the best the best way to do it would be to go to feature film. Um, <clears throat> to go to featured films. The minute you go to featured films, it brings up basically the most popular movies that are out there right now, and and those are definitely as you can see: Rise of the Guardian, Life of Pi, Red Dawn, Argo, this crappy movie, Sinister. You know these movies are like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this one only because I like torturing myself. And I'm going to torture you guys with me. So this movie's going to load. As you can see, you have TS. That's called theater screen. Then you have cam. Each, they do the same. They, they give you the same quality. You always go by the most views. So this one has 52 grand. We're going to go with 52 grand. That's easy, easiest choice. They're always at the top. This is going to load real quick. It's going to buffer for a second. And here you go. This is this crappy movie that... As, as I'm recording this, I'm not even looking because I will have I will remove my own man card for turning around and watching this right now. So I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit. Fast forwarding, simple. It goes up, it goes 30 seconds or more. You can take the Apple TV. You can sync it to your iPad. You can sync it to your iPhone. When you sync it to your iPad, you're you're allowed a keyboard. With the keyboard, you can fast forward like you would a normal DVD or VCR. You hit the F and it'll fast forward by times eight, times 16, times 32, things like that best way to fast forward but it's also sometimes it might skip you because the buffering and the fast forwarding are never going to be in sync as you can see shovel face is at his shiniest and his glitteriness so what i'll do is i'm gonna back this off now because i turned around and looked at it and i feel weird now so as you can see these are a bunch of other different options you know half the half of these have been here forever when a, when the quality of a movie like this one was a ts file not too long ago when it became available now it's a dvd they upgrade they update them for you you know you don't have to go searching they update them for you sometimes there's so many movies out there something that's in theaters unless you're very desperate to watch it you can always wait for you know a couple more weeks and you might get a better quality do you have your you know you of course your i am alone in the house and there's nobody around me channel and those channels will definitely keep you busy and at the same time you lose your vision you have you know live tv you have other different type of um add-ons those are definitely things that you can ask me about and there's definitely ways that you can watch live tv live tv is definitely popular i do i use it myself and um and i can pick up channels local channels i can pick up abc you know all those basic channels that you can watch all your shows in but who needs them when all the shows are available here right so this video broke down your favorites broke down how to how to get into ice films and, get, and start watching movies your sources 
what's the best sources you know when it comes to um, one channel highest views equal better results also this will also include um, a quick a quick scenario when it comes to the add-ons you know the add-ons and the ability for the add-ons to communicate without too much buffering too much of anything like that so YouTube if you have any questions like I said leave comment below like if you like don't if you don't this is Imperial Tech we're out